Okay, Vince, count us in. Crabs were formed as a surf band and in Anacortes around 1991. It was myself and Brian Elliott. Then I met Lisa. Lisa was learning how to play the drums yeah, as the I, band was forming. I was in love, so I was like, sure, I'll be in a band with you. <laughs> yeah. That's how Vince got in it. He didn't marry me, but he's my child. Everything you say. Initially, uh, most of our songs were instrumental and had sort of a more surfy sound and a surfy drum beat. And then when we started writing songs with lyrics, um, a lot of them were also ocean themed. I'm trying to think of some of the, like One Maribel, Dreamboat. Dreamboat. About a boat that sinks and breaks the heart of the boat lover. I wrote songs about sea and maritime and stuff because I grew up here on an island. I was a commercial fisherman at that time. And, you know, just living here, if you, if you leave and come back, one of the things that hits you first is the smell of, um, not that it smells bad here, but you smell the ocean, you smell the, the tides out, you smell, just smell the sea, and uh, it's just, that is a, that's, you know, that kind of jogs your consciousness, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Greg Sage and the Wipers had a song called Alien Boy. And so I just kind of played with the title Alien Girl. There was a proposition in California, and this was in the early 90s when I wrote this. It was the first time I'd really heard the term illegal alien. So what it, that, uh, that proposition was to make it so that people who were not undocumented workers couldn't have access to public school, hospital care, and some other you know, things that you need to live in a society and be healthy and well taken care of. And so I just thought that was ludicrous to have uh, uh, someone labeled an alien for one and to not deny them some basic human services, human rights, just because they weren't from this country. And so the song kind of became more of that. It's still an intergalactic love song, but the idea, you know, um, take me to your world, show me to your kin, now I understand because I'm the alien, was kind of around those ideas like who's who should be here, who shouldn't, um, the idea that we can all be here was just how the song evolved. Pre-99, it was, we would go on tour, we went to Japan, we didn't really, you know, like bands don't, some bands were successful, we just had fun doing what we were doing. And then we left, Lisa and I left Portland, Oregon, and came here, and then, um... And, and I was children. pretty much done with the band at that point, like I didn't really want to be in a band. She so her contract had worn out, and she wasn't getting the royalties that she wanted, and she's like, I'm out. That's not true. In my ear. 
I wanted to show Vince and his friends just how easy it was to express yourself through music and to record that. And so um, with Vince being a drummer, it was easy to have him jump in and then Dominic can play, you know, uh, guitar really well and Sinjin could play the bass. So we just like, well, why don't we try these things? And had, we had Nick Wilbur over at Unknown record us. And so it was just an opportunity to do a fun thing with my child. Some people do soccer or whatever. We formed a band. It's a bit of like a first time band sort of experience for the people who've played in it because I've been a new addition to it since a few years ago. Dominic's played in it, Sinjin's played in it. There's been, we've done a couple of performances, been rocking out since. I think it's really a project. I think it's just something we occasionally visit. That would, that's kind of how I look at it. We did our thing and uh, we had fun doing it. And um, I mean, we bands like uh, a band Taco Cat covered that song, and so that's very humbling that someone would listen to us a and then want to record one of the songs b. So it's just it's fun just to be able to play music and share it with people, whether they you know 15 people or 1500 listen to it, you never know and you never really can tell what's going to happen. So the crabs are retired. Pretty much. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unless you have instruments that are older than us and we can are invited to play them. Yeah. I can't fight.